12 points are arranged in order around a circle. And then here come the questions. Number one, uh, A, how many triangles can be drawn with these points as vertices? B, how many pairs of such triangles can be drawn if the vertices of the two triangles are distinct? Part C, how many pairs in those pairs, how many will the triangles overlap, or not overlap rather, and how many will overlap? Okay, so this is confusing. So we're gonna have a go at it, okay? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is, um, actually, sorry, Jinsu, could you get the window, please? There? Thanks. The first thing we're going to do is um, get together a picture, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw myself a circle, and 12 points are really easy to do because um, there are 12 points on a clock, so that's, that's nice and simple. There we go. So here are the 12 points on the circumference of my circle. <laughs> Not very circular, okay. Now, part A is the easiest one. It's kind of like no conditions whatsoever. Did you need to go to the bathroom? No, I'll just deal with it. Okay. I'll tell you a funny story that's, that, that's worse than that to look through better. Sorry? Let's go back to the question. That's a great idea. Thanks, Nikita. How many triangles can be drawn with these points as vertices? How many triangles can be drawn with these points as vertices? Okay. Now let's um let's remember you got 12 points here, and to make a triangle, any triangle, all you need to do is join up three points. You just have to join in three points. Okay. So for instance, you could join up these guys. That would be a triangle. Or you could join up, let's get a new colour. You could join up these guys. And that would be a triangle, okay? So what I'm trying to understand is, how can I convert this into, like what is this? Is it a permutation? Is it a combination? Is it, you know, all that kind of thing, okay? So to help us a little bit, all of these um, numbers around the edge, I'm going, sorry, these points rather, I'm going to number them. That will give me some language to talk about these things. Now, being that I said this was a clock, why don't we start at 12, that's noon, and we go one, two, three, all the way around. There are my 12 points. Thank goodness I can count. Now, in order to make a triangle, for instance, I've got one, three, and six. That made a triangle, okay? Or four, eight, and 11, okay? Now, quick question. Um, those two triangles I just named, does it matter what order I supply those numbers in? Like 136, 631, 316, are they different or are they the same? The answer is they are the same, right? So therefore, am I in permutations territory or combinations territory? Combinations. Combinations, very good. Order doesn't matter. So that's the first thing I want to say. I might even say for myself, part A, order doesn't matter. So this is just like a, a thing from my own head. Then when I realize, okay, this is about something choose something. This is like an NCR type problem, right? How many choices do I have to choose from? And the answer is there are 12 choices. And of those 12, I should say options, of those options, I have to pick out any three. Any three, right? So therefore, if order doesn't matter, I've got 12 and I have three of them I want. Therefore, the number of ways is just going to be 12, 3, 3. That's it. 12 C3. That's the number of triangles I can make. What is 12 C3? And someone, can someone get the calculator? Tell me. Really? On the 12th row? Come on. <laughs> I've already got this number. No, 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 I'm not ready to wait. Okay. 220. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was almost there. Okay. Right, lovely. That's just the beginning. Let's have a look at part B. It says, how many pairs of such triangles can be drawn if the vertices of the two triangles are distinct? Okay, part B, I'm dealing with pairs. What does that mean? Yeah, it's a good question. I'm going to write it down and then we'll unpack it. And it says the vertices are distinct. Okay. So, I've got a couple of triangles already on there. Okay, you can see I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, four, one, two, three, four, five, six points picked out. But importantly, the six points are all different to each other. Right? For instance, I could draw over here, I could draw a triangle here, 
like that. Right? It's another triangle, right? But its vertices are not distinct from that first green triangle I did, right? I've reused one. Does that make sense? So if I had ones that reused, I wouldn't have six points all up. I have five or four or however many. So if I want the vertices distinct, what that really means is I've got to have six points picked out. Does that make sense? Not just three, not just four or five. I have to have six. Does that make sense? Okay, so in order to get this and this, how many ways are there all up? Think about this. Yeah, I still have 12 to choose from, but I just have to pick 12 of them. Uh, sorry, pick six of them. Right? Now, pause for a second. Let's just suppose, and you're going to have to do a few of these, by the way. Let's suppose I've actually picked out, I'll get rid of, um, I'll get rid of, no, no, I'm just going to draw myself a new one. One, two. Does that look good? I think it's right. Now, if I have picked out six of them, let's pick out any six, okay? So I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So this is one of the configurations that I could choose, right? Is there just one way to pick out the number of triangles that I'm making? There's not, right? In fact, with these six points, I can make a whole bunch of different triangles. So the question is, how many different triangles can I make just with these six points, okay? Because this is all the different sets of six points that I can do. So this is really ways of picking six vertices. But now, out of these vertices, I have to make my pair of triangles. Okay. Now I'm just going to pause for a minute and I want you to think about this before I show you the answer. I have to admit when I first had a look at this, I came up with an answer and I was like, hmm, not entirely convinced. The number was different. So I was like, what have I done wrong? So I went, I looked, I wasn't convinced. And then I convinced myself of two different ways, which is how I knew it was right, that I can go from here. This is just picking the six. And then I've got to make the triangles. There's a pair of them, right? How would you argue after this? how many ways there are to make a pair of triangles. I'll give you about a minute just to think in the quiet of your own mind how you would answer this question.